Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. It's another beautiful sunny day here in Ireland. I seem to be saying this every week, but we really have been having a nice sunny spring. I'm just kind of waiting for the weather to warm up a little bit. The seeds are slowly germinating, but they could do a little bit more heat. So I'm learning how to be patient and I am planting seeds nearly every other day here in the garden. And I saw this beautiful thing on Instagram during the week. Real Family Journey shared it and it's from Thrive with Meg. And she shared the lessons that we can learn from plants. And there's about five of them and I just really wanted to share them with you this week. I always think we can learn so much from nature. So let's start with the first one. Growth doesn't just happen. So here I'm planting some courgette seeds or zucchini, I think it's called in other countries. But I do have to do a few little things in order to help the growth. I have to pop the seed under the soil so that the seed is in the dark. I then have to give it some water and then it needs some warmth and some sun in order to grow. So in the same way, in life, we need to water and nurture ourselves in order to support growth. And what I loved about what she said was that it's really beneficial then to kind of pause, slow down and check in with actually how far you've come and how much growth that you have actually done. And I like to look at it in the way that who I was 10 years ago is completely different to who I am now. A lot of the times we can focus on berating ourselves that we're not growing or flourishing enough. But if we actually look at who we were 10 years to who we are now and really give ourselves a pat on the back of how far we've come. The next lesson that plants can teach us is that sometimes you will outgrow your comfort zone. Now I found this one really interesting because it doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong, it just means that you may need a bigger pot. And a lot of the times I'm looking at plants either in the home or the garden and I'm wondering why they're not growing very well and I think maybe they need more water or they need more light and most of the time it's that their roots need a little bit more room to breathe and they need a bigger pot. So there's nothing wrong with this at all and there's no harm in wanting more and having desires. And I always find it really important to remind myself that I'm the only one that can decide that and I'm the only one that can change. The next lesson that plants can teach us is that loss is a part of life. Many plants lose their leaves in order to make way for new ones. And it makes loads of sense when you're actually looking at the plant. But do we ever put that in context for our own life? It can be helpful to just let go of anything unnecessary and anything that's draining our energy and stopping us from flourishing and growing. I always try and remind myself that it is okay to be myself. We are all uniquely different. We're also all at different stages on our path and it's okay to acknowledge where we are and accept that for ourselves. And even if it's as simple as just doing a little bit of decluttering or noticing where our energy is getting drained and just allowing ourselves to just let go and then make space for something new to come in. The next lesson we can learn from plants is where you spend your energy, growth and opportunity will follow. So plants love things like light and water. And then there's different plants that have just more unique needs. 
So it can be really important to listen to ourselves really carefully. See what specific needs that we need to be meeting that maybe we're not meeting. Just give ourselves that attention and then we'll be able to flourish more. And if you've ever seen a plant, really appreciate the attention you've been giving it. Well, how much will we benefit from just giving ourselves that little bit of attention and care in order to flourish? My husband bought this lovely new record player. And we've had records for so many years. We kept buying second hand and they kept breaking and we couldn't get them fixed. It's one of the downsides of a lot of technology now. It's hard to find people with the expertise that can fix something that is old. fifth lesson that plants can teach us is that our roots are important. We all have a past, we all have our roots, and it's made us who we are today. It's incredibly important, but no matter what past we have had, we can all heal and we can learn and we can grow now in this present day. And what's shared is that if we want to make the changes, it can be really important to accept what is and what was first. You've probably heard that saying, if you want to make a change, accept what is in order to move forward. So I really found a lot of value in those five lessons. And the link is down below for Thrive with Meg and her Instagram account if you want to check them out. I think it's incredibly important in life to be able to take the time to celebrate. To really acknowledge how far we've come. How much we are getting through this life. None of us get out of it alive. And yet we're all doing our best in every moment. I'm using my grandparents' dinner set. They got this as a gift on their wedding day. And I think it's beautiful to be able to just keep using something over and over, and there is barely a chip in sight. There's so much in today's world that just gets disposed of. Stopping, pausing, celebrating what we have, and honoring everything that's been given to us and bring some joy and peace into our lives. So I've really enjoyed chatting about the lessons that plants can teach us. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below or over on Instagram. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video and happy Easter to anybody who's celebrating it around the world. Have a wonderful week, keep it simple, and I'll see you in the next video.